In this problem, we have a teacher who shines a cyan light at a yellow hammer. The student then looks at the hammer through a green filter. So we can show, see that depicted in the diagram over here. The teacher is shining that cyan light onto the hammer. The student is then looking through that green filter at the hammer. And it also tells us when the flashlight is turned off, the room is dark, which means the light from that flashlight is the only light present in the room. We're not gonna have any other light interfering. We need to figure out what color will the hammer appear to the student? So we're gonna go through all the steps here. The first thing that happens is the cyan light is incident on the hammer. So our first question is, what colors of light are incident on the hammer? Cyan is a secondary color made up of blue and green. Therefore, we can draw on here onto our diagram two rays of light. We have green and we have blue. Since cyan's made of green and blue, we can represent it with those two separate rays. So our question over here says, which colors of light are incident on the hammer? Green and blue. Our next question is asking, which colors of light are reflected by the hammer? So for this, we're gonna to have to use our rule up here, which is the objects reflect the colors they are made of and absorb other colors. The yellow hammer is a secondary color made up of red and green. So yellow is able to reflect red and green. Let's just write that down. Yellow is made up of red and green. So that means that the green ray that was incident on the hammer can get reflected since yellow contains green. So the green ray is gonna get reflected. The blue ray, however, is not included in yellow. And since objects absorb other colors that they're not made up of, the yellow hammer is gonna absorb that blue ray and that's not going to get reflected. So the only color of light actually reflected by the hammer is green. Okay, now we need to, think, need to think about what's happening at the filter. The green light that was reflected off the hammer is going to shine through the filter. So green light, it's incident on the filter. Now we have a green filter that the green light is shining on. And we have this rule up here, which is that filters transmit the colors they are made of and absorb other colors. Green is a primary color, so that filter is going to transmit green and absorb anything else. Since green is the only light shining onto our filter, that green light is going to travel through. So what colors of light are transmitted by the filter? Green. Finally, what color will the hammer appear? The hammer is gonna appear the color of the light that enters the student's eyes the only light that makes it all the way to the student's eyes is green light. So the hammer will eventually look green when the student looks at it through the green filter with the teacher shining the cyan light on it.